Good afternoon from Sevierville, Tennessee. It's Ryan. And Bree. And Micah. And on today's adventure, we're going to the English Mountain Trout Farm and Grill. And here is what we'll be doing on today's adventure. As we bring you inside, we'll introduce you to the owner, Charlie, who will explain that you don't need experience or a fishing license to come here and to catch fresh rainbow trout, which is what Bree and Micah are going to attempt to do. We'll also try looking for some gems at their gem mine. While they cooked up our fresh caught trout, we'll tell you which of the three ways they cooked it was our favorite. We'll also check out one of the fastest, most unique ways I've ever seen a trout processed as they provide trout to a number of popular area restaurants. And finally, at the end of the video, we'll share some other great family-friendly things that you can do near the trout farm. So without further ado, let the, the adventure, adventure begin! English Mountain Trout Farm and Grill is located at 291 Blowing Cave Road in Sevierville, Tennessee. If you're not familiar with the area, that's gonna be about a 30 minute drive from Dollywood and about 45 minutes from the aquarium in Gatlinburg. As we've passed a Walmart and now a food city, we get our first look at English Mountain. As we take this turn here to the left, you can see the Forbidden Caverns sign, which it's very close to Forbidden Caverns, but it's a beautiful drive. You can see English Mountain and all the farmland. It's very relaxing. So we're gonna come up here and take a right here on Blowing Cave Road. And we're almost there as we wind down this little road past this little mill. We've finally arrived to the English Mountain Trout Farm and Grill. Now that we've parked, I did want to mention their hours. 11 a.m. till 6 p.m. is when you can typically fish. It can be seasonal, like in the winter time. You might want to check their website for their hours. But let's talk to the owner to see how this works. So we're here today with Charlie Ford, who's the owner of the English Mountain Trout Farm and Grill. And we're excited. We've been meaning to come over here and see what this is like. I understand it's we hook them, you cook them. But can you tell us a little bit more? Sure. While we do have the option of coming and catching your own rainbow trout and us preparing it into a meal uh, with a couple sides and hush puppies and an extended menu beyond that, we also have the option here of being able to catch your own rainbow trout we will clean it for you and dress it for you so that you can take it back to your cabin, your campsite. Kids can have fun and that night you can play with it and you know make it your own. So if I'm new to fishing and I know nothing about fishing, will you help me? Oh yeah, absolutely <laughs> help you ma'am. That's what we're here for. Our staff is on site to help you bait your hook, net your fish, make fun of you while you're trying to fish. <laughs> Anything we could do to <laughs> to, to make it pleasurable and enjoyable and have a good time, we will definitely do that for so you. So the full experience. Full experience, That's yes right. ma'am, that's right. <laughs> Our fishing per person is $5 a person to fish. You may want to eat your trout here. It's $24.99 for a trout dinner, fried, blackened, or lemon peppered. We've got a host of side orders that you can choose from to make that plate up. We've got some appetizers, fried green tomatoes and beer battered onion rings and stuff for the kids, corn dog bites and uh, kids mac and cheese and chicken poppers, pulled pork barbecue, and most all of our stuff is done in-house. If you wanna have food made up, we can help you with that. If you wanna have your trout cleaned so that you can make uh, dinner with it that evening, we can help you with that. So how long have you guys been here and what kind of brought about this idea and got you started? Well, I've owned it for about 20 years, but the little restaurant and the uh, pond has been here for going on 60 years. Wow. So it's been here a long time. It's always been English Mountain Trout Farm and Grill. Okay. So, uh, you know, originally you could come in and catch rainbow trout. You could order a hot dog, potato chips, and a Coke, and that was it. Mm -hmm. Then it developed over the years into a small scale restaurant with the trout dinners and a variety of things to eat. And all we try to do is make that as good as we can make it, okay. putting our personal touch to it. And you guys don't just have trout for your restaurant here, but you also supply the area in some other places, correct? Absolutely, we, we take care of most of Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge and Sevierville, and some of Knoxville with their uh, needs for fresh cut rainbow trout, the restaurant end of things, which is our wholesale business. And I heard that you had a special guest recently. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, seems like we caught the ear and the eye of uh, the Food Network channel and Guy Fieri with uh, the All American Road Trip. And we're gonna be featured on that June the 9th at 9 p.m. What a crew, what a guy, 
What a show. It, I mean, we had a blast. It was uh, several hours of fun out here at the pond. Uh, uh, they were catching the golden trout and making bets on who could catch the golden trout first. Guy was a blast. His whole staff were professional. So what is the golden trout? So we have golden trout in the pond as well as rainbow trout. So they are a, uh, an anomaly in the gene pool of a rainbow trout. They're not a different species. They, they cut, clean, and cook just as a rainbow trout does. But just like all species of animal, there's a, an anomaly there in the gene pool that causes them to turn golden. Usually every eight to 10 million of those will wow. hatch out a golden trout. Wow, okay, yeah. so they are quite yeah. rare. They are rare. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We're excited. Let's go, let's go catch some dinner. What yes, do you absolutely. <laughs> we'll get the adventure started. Awesome. All right. <laughs> right now, we're thinking about catching that golden trout, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Want to throw it out in the middle? They're going to bite it pretty much as soon as it hits the water. Okay. And jerk it real hard to the side. So you can catch a golden one, but they w we won't be able to eat it. They will throw it back because they are so rare and they want to have them in there for looks. But we'll see what happens. Okay. You ready? Yeah. <gasps> oh, almost. <laughs> I gotta wait till he bites. Okay, try again. That was a good size one. Right there. Oh, too soon, right? Too soon? It real hard. Oh, real hard. Okay. Got one? Got one? Oh! There you go. <laughs> First trout. Good job, Micah. It's got a lip grip so you can hold your fish up and get a nice photo up without having to get guts and blood on your hands. You gotta hold it way out so it looks huge, right? Is that the trick? <laughs> Look at that. Good job, buddy. You wanna catch another one? Sure. <laughs> you can. Okay, if you want me to, but if you want to, I'm gonna no, let you, you do, do it. it. You do it. You want me to do it? Yeah, okay. you do it. You overturn. I know we can't eat the golden one, but I really want to catch one. <laughs> Somebody's baiting my hook. This is my kind of fishing. I don't have to get dirty or touch anything. <laughs> hey, Goldie. Oh, nope, no fish. Let's hey. see, I think Micah's gonna be much better at Hold this it. than me. Nope, that way. That, the other way. To the left? Yeah. And, oh. Lost him. This is, you need to take me fishing more, Ryan, so I know what I'm doing. Right. This is like old school fishing with this, you know, this is a, a old, cane pole. Like, cane pole fishing, yeah. yeah I grew up cool. cane pole fishing off my grandpa's dock. Really? Yeah, yeah. You learn something new every day. All right. Okay. All right, Bree's gonna catch a fish. <laughs> Maybe. This is it. This is it. Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wild one. <laughs> you caught dinner. Yeah. It's probably the only time this will ever happen. <laughs> no, I'll take you more. Yeah? Yeah. I think yours is yeah, bigger. Let's, let's get her to hold. Whoa. So the question is, who caught the bigger fish? Ooh, I think Micah did. What do you think? It's pretty close. Pretty close? Yeah. Nice, fresh trout still wiggling around. <laughs> <laughs> so they are gonna cook these up for us and we're gonna have some fresh trout for dinner. Sounds delicious. He just took our trout and he said, go on in. We'll let them know how we want them cooked. All right, let's head on inside the restaurant. All right. So they have the little processing station over here. He's working on our trout and we'll go in here and tell him how we'd like it cooked. So here you are, caught your fish. Caught our fish. So we offer our trout fried blackened or lemon pepper okay. as we talked about before and then your platter sides are here and you get a choice of two of those per okay. meal they come with your uh, meal to form your meal plate and okay. then hush puppies are an automatic they're a given it's bread for the table okay the blackened sells better than anything probably two to one okay. um uh, and it just depends on what your taste buds are like, but I really like the black and it's a good piece of fish. Okay, we'll now, y'all got how many fish did you catch? Two. Only two, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so let me say this to you. You could do that blackened fish half and half, half black and half lemon pepper. Then you'll get a taste of all of it. That sounds that great. That sound good? Yeah, that okay. sounds great. Did I hear you say you were going to do a little gem mining while you were waiting on food to be cooked? Does that sound right? That would be great. Yes. All right. We'll That's get you set up for that so your venture can continue. Wonderful. How's that sound? That sounds fantastic. All right. Sounds good. <laughs>
The nice thing about our uh, gem mining too is that the water from the creek flows right through the box. It's not in a tank recirculated and cycled back around like most gem mining stations are. Um, so you don't have to worry about who's had their hands in it prior to you getting there. So it's fresh right out of the creek and it makes for a nice adventure. We've put in our food order and while we're waiting, we're gonna go do some gem mining. Are you excited? Yes. Okay, let's go check it out. Before we did the gem mining, I did wanna show you the three buckets that you can get. You can get a three gallon for 35, two gallon for 25, or a one gallon bucket for $15. We're going to do the largest three gallon bucket. So let's head over and do some gem mining. All you guys need to do, take a little bit of dirt, as much as you want, yeah. put it right in here, right in the water, back and forth. It's going to disappear, and then you'll have your uh, gems. I didn't get any for you because you know, it's y'all's bucket, but <laughs> that's all there is to it. You ready? Yes. I don't want to drop any. <laughs> I think you can put more in. I'm going to put more. Like, put a big old, put like three or four scoops in. And this is the three gallon bucket that we are doing. The biggest one. Okay. Let's see what we got. I got something. Oh, wait, there's a rock. Let's see, we've got a little chart here that tells us what it is. It's a, oh, there it is. It's a it's a moss agate. Moss. I think that's moss. how you pronounce it. Cool. Well, let's put that in your bag and get another scoopful. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. I already see rocks. Oh, oh, let's see what treasures you can get. Ooh, I see a pretty blue one. Look at that one. Ooh, look at that. The I think it's that Aberdeen. one. The yeah. green Aberdeen. And? At Adventuring. Oh. oh. Ooh. Fun gems. Do you find anything cool in there? That's a gem. Oh, yeah. Wow. I think you're going to have to share some of these with your sister. What? Well, keep everyone that has color. Oh, wow. That's the best one. That's the best one right there. We struck gold. <laughs> We're rich. <laughs> Next <laughs> round. Here we go. It's going to reveal in a minute. Ready? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I know, I know the best one. I know the best one. Purple. That's the best one. You get a lot of turns in the three gallon bucket for sure. All right. We're oh, getting bigger and bigger the deeper we go in the bucket. Uh, wow. Look at that. Hold that one up for daddy. Wow. They get bigger and bigger. <laughs> Those are the best ones. Well, that's a cool one. I'm broken. Oh, no. <laughs> got it. <laughs> it's a lot. You got a lot. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Is it fun? Yes. Yeah. Very. It's fun. So what do you like better, gem mining or fishing? I like both. You like both. It's great because you can fish and then when your food's being prepared, you can come gem mine. <laughs> All right, let's go get some dinner. So they brought us our food. But let's take a moment to thank God for this meal we're about to have. And we ask that you bless this food to our body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So we have blackened trout, lemon pepper, and fried trout, coleslaw, mac and cheese, green beans, french fries, and hush puppies. Let's dig in and figure out which type of trout we like. Which one do you think you caught, Micah? You think that one's yours? <laughs> Green beans, nice and soft, like we like them here in the south. <laughs> Very good. Soft and, and flavorful. Uh, well, let's get into the trout. Do the skin is still on, so you you'd want to like take a piece like this, okay? The bones or the skin? Oh, the, the skin. skin. Oh. Mmm. That's really good. The fried is good. Let's try the lemon pepper. Oh, that looks good. That's really good. The lemon pepper is really good. Let's try the blackened. You really don't need tartar sauce on this one. I'm telling you, it's really good. <laughs> the blackened's very good too, but I actually think the lemon pepper has more flavor to it. The blackened has spice. The, the blackened has a little spice, but not too bad. But the lemon pepper is really, really good. So out of all three, I would say 
The lemon pepper is my favorite. It has Me the too. most flavor. The blackened's good. It's not too spicy. It has flavor, but I feel like the lemon pepper is like bursting with flavor and it tastes like they probably put butter on it. They might have put butter on the other one too, but I can really taste it in the lemon pepper. So that is my favorite. That's your favorite too? Yeah. Yeah. The coleslaw is good. It's crunchy. It's sweet. It has a good amount of um, dressing on it, not too much, not too little. That's good. Gotta try the hush puppies. Hush puppies are God, included. Crunchy. The hush puppies are really good. They're super crispy. They're kind of like a lighter batter, so they're not too heavy. They're actually excellent. I really like those. You like them? Yeah, I could eat a lot of these. <laughs> Out of all the sides, what's your favorite? What's yours first? <laughs> I think. My favorite side is the coleslaw. So if I had to come back and order again, I would get the lemon pepper trout with the coleslaw and I could do any of the other sides. I'd probably do the same thing, but fries. With fries. Fries yeah. and coleslaw? Okay. Fries and coleslaw. fries and coleslaw and lemon pepper trout. That's the perfect meal. <laughs> We've moved inside to their inside seating, which has some air conditioning. So if it's in the middle of July or August and it's a little bit hot outside or the bugs are kind of giving you a nuisance, you can always come in here to the inside area. So I've decided to give everything a try and we just noticed you get an entire bottle of tartar sauce. So you don't have to keep going back and asking, but so far the flavor is really good that I don't need to add a lot to it, but I'm going to try a little bit on the, uh, Fried. fried, yeah. So I've had a chance to try everything as well, and it's really close between the lemon pepper and the fried trout. Both are really good. And I'll say these probably are the best hush puppies I've ever had. They are so good. All the sides are homemade here in-house. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. One other thing that we've noticed is we haven't found any bones as we've been eating our trout. I'm always a little nervous that I'm going to get all these bones. When I catch trout, I'm very particular about the way I fillet the fish. And uh, man, no bones. Everything's been fantastic. Tell me about dessert options. So we have one basic dessert. I think it's universal for everybody. Uh, it's an apple pie. And it's a homemade apple pie turnover. You use a little bit of uh, moonshine from the local distilleries here, smoked apple moonshine mix, mm. and then we turn that into our cooked apples, put a little vanilla ice cream on top of it, powdered sugar and caramel, and it is to die for. So whenever you get a chance, if you can uh, try one of those, if you come out, if we have them available, we run out fast because they're homemade. We are out today. Out but today, right. We'll have we're to working come, on it, right. Uh, we'll come back. <laughs> Gotta buy Mama a rainy day so she can make another 100 pies. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I was so impressed with the lack of bones in our trout, Charlie, the owner, said, let me show you how we do it. So what he's basically doing now is gutting the trout, getting it ready to be cut so that um, it'll be boneless, ready for the cooker, ready for the fryer. So that uh, takes a few seconds to get that done, but the uh, thing that we have in our favor is this little board that I um, uh, came up with that will help us hold the fish in place while we operate on him. Uh, the board simply does one thing, just that, holds the fish. Because if you've ever cut a rainbow trout, you know they're not the easiest fish to hang on to. So he's going down one side of the backbone, he's going down the other side of the backbone, and then he's going to take uh, his snips, cut out the backbone. So that takes out all the backbone part of the trout, and then it lays over there on those chamfer strips, and he can cut the rib bone sections out of it. And that just tears out just like that. And then he goes to the other side, head off, rinsed, and ready to go side by side. And if you cook those bad boys up on the grill or in a deep fryer or an iron skillet or any way you really like them, you just cannot beat that. That is absolutely the fastest, cleanest way. So how many trout a week do you process here? So we cut approximately 2,000 fish a week for usage other than our own here. And then about another thousand a week for our usage at our restaurant. So other restaurants and other facilities get about 2,000 fish. Wow, that's a lot of trout. A lot of trout. Pinchies, Cherokee Grill, 
um, Chesapeake's, uh, just a bunch of them. The Old Mill Restaurant is one of our biggest customers. Well, that wraps up our time at the English Mountain Trout Farm and Grill. <laughs> what did you guys think? I thought it was a wonderful experience. The food was delicious. I really enjoyed the fishing and the gem mining. I just am excited to come back again. Yeah, the girls missed out on joining us, so we'll have to bring back your sisters on another day. And I really want to come back and try that apple pie that they didn't have today. So we'd love to hear from you in the comments if you've ever been here, what was your experience, or would you like to come here next time you come to the Smoky Mountains? We hope this video was helpful. If it did, hit that thumbs up down below and make sure you are subscribed for more adventures here in the Smokies and beyond. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see, see you, you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. If you've watched this far, we did want to give one of our subscribers an opportunity to have a trout dinner on us as we'll give you a $25 gift card here. All you have to do is leave in your comment English Mountain Trout Farm and we'll pick a comment at random on an upcoming live stream. And I wanted to go over a couple more tips. It is cash only, they have an ATM on site. You do wanna check their website for hours as that can change depending on the season. Not everyone in your party has to fish. If you had a party of 10, you could designate one of the kids to catch everybody's dinner and you're only paying $5 per person that fishes. If you're military or a first responder, let them know when you get there and they'll take care of your fishing fee for you. Finally, three recommended places that I might pair with driving out to the trout farm would be the Smoky Mountain Deer Farm, the Forbidden Caverns, which is right around the corner, as well as the Bushes Visitor Center, which is a free museum. Check out the description of this video. I'll put some links to the videos we've made of these attractions if you wanna check them out and perhaps pair them with coming out here to lunch or dinner. That wraps up our look at the English Mountain Trout Farm. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments and we'll see you on the next adventure. We're going to the English Mountain Trout Farm. And grill. We're going to the English Mountain, it. Ryan. We're going to the English Mountain Trout Farm and Cafe. And grill. It's grill? What did I say cafe? I can't believe you <laughs> did this, that. This is going in the bloopers. Car. <laughs> Game on. We're going to the English Mountain Trout Farm. And grill. <laughs> <laughs> English Mountain. Okay, I want to make sure I say it right.